There's even a few people who blamed another Jamaican reggae artist for the killing. Supercat. That remained just a rumour until July 2019 at a party in Brooklyn. An apparently drunken Supercat got into an argument with Yami Bolo. The video quickly spread around the worldwide reggae community and reignited the rumours of Supercat's involvement. Supercat was never investigated at the time. Instead, Tenosaur's friend, Glenn Holness, better known as rising reggae star Nitty Gritty, was suspected. Oddly, Jamaican newspaper The Gleaner reported in October 1988 that Tenosaur had been shot in New York after an argument. That report proved to be a little prophetic. Three years later, in June 1991, Nitty Gritty was shot and killed outside a record store in New York. It's rumoured that Nitty Gritty accused Supercat of killing Tenosaur and the altercation ended with Nitty Gritty being killed. NYPD initially arrested and charged Supercat, a licensed gun owner, but he was later cleared on the grounds of self-defence, as witnesses said Nitty Gritty had attempted to shoot first. Despite a career lasting less than five years, Tenosaur managed to establish himself as one of the most unique and influential reggae artists of all time. His songs have been re-released, remixed and even reworked, like this 1992 version of Ring the Alarm by Brooklyn-based hip-hop group Fushnikins. Ring the Alarm is a bona fide reggae classic, a sound clash anthem that will tear up any dance, even now. The lyrics also echo the tragedy of a life taken too.